Hi, Theater Mania. I'm Patty Mirren, and we're talking about Frozen on Broadway. We knew the story worked. We knew these characters very well because they came from us. And we were able to just really laser in on moments that we knew could go so much deeper. It's been a journey of exploring something beyond, way beyond the film. I've been sort of describing it like The Lion King, you know, just been running for 20 years on Broadway and people knew and loved the film, but then they came to the theater and they saw it in almost an operatic way. The sets and the costumes and the music live in front of you elevated it to a new place. And that's very much what Frozen does. It's a really wonderful thing to watch, especially as embodied by Casey and Patty, who bring such dimension to these characters. Anna is a little less um, composed than most Disney princesses. She has a zest for life and this energy and this great optimism is really, I think, one of the my favorite things about her. On film, we have the close-up where we get to see Elsa's eyes, but in a musical, we get to hear her voice and hear her sing and speak about what it is she's feeling. Of course, with Let It Go, they've encouraged me to take ownership of the song, and, uh, and then very much so with the new music as well. So I am playing Kristoff, who is your go-to mountain man. I step on stage, and I feel like I'm not on stage. I feel like I'm actually in a frozen world. I play Hans, some call him the bad guy. I see him as an opportunist. I was always a Disney kid growing up and I was always attracted to the villain somehow, so I don't know, there's some sort of connection here. <laughs> well, I play Olaf, the snowman. He is this kind of creature that is born out of the imagination of these two girls when they're playing. So he is part Elsa and he's part Anna. These characters are really alive and really real and really grown up. And I know that in our run in Denver, it was the adults that were truly blown away by it.